Hello Grade 7 Osprey, Blue Jay, and Bluebird. Now, I will demonstrate to you on how to download your modules in science. So, you are going to look your group chat. For example, Grade 7 Osprey Science. And let us going to click this. Let's just back read. Back reading is the key. Back read on the modules. So we are in quarter two, module two, week two. How to download? So first, let's download the WHLP or the Weekly Home Learning Plan in Science 7 Regular Quarter 2 Week 2. Just tap it and click download. And whatever browser you have in your cell phone, just click it any of them browser or chrome but i prefer using chrome then it says here download file again because i already download downloaded this file so just click download let's wait until it's fully downloaded then let's open it i have wps so i recommend you to use wps office this one just click it and then this will be the app that we will use in opening these files so in here you can see the weekly home learning plan for science 7 quarter 2 week 2 it must be week 2 so let's edit it week 2 it's just a typo error so done battery is full battery is full Battery is full. Battery is battery is full. My battery is full. And my cell phone is reminding me that my battery is full. So in here the learning task. You can see the learning task. The day and time. The learning area. The competency. And the mood of delivery. So in quarter two week two seven thirty to eight thirty learning area is science and the learning competency for this week is focus specimens using the compound microscope. So your learning task first one is to read and understand the lesson how to use the microscope under what is it. So for us to know where is that part, we are going to download the module itself. So let's go back to the messenger and the module. We are going to download Science 7 Quarter 2 Module 2 Week 2. Just click it and then tap download. Let's use again Google Chrome. Yeah, let's download it again. Let's just wait until it's fully downloaded. And then let's open it. WPS so make sure that you install WPS in your cell phone or any 
opening application for files so in the first page how to use the mic the compound microscope so let's go to page one sign seven module two week two how to use the microscope so in here you you can see the different learning objectives we have number one figure out the steps in focusing specimens in the compound microscope and determine and describe the magnification of a specimen seen under the compound microscope so here you can see what's in what's new what is it the discussions what's more assessment one what i have learned and the last assessment so let's see the learning task and what are written in the learning task will be the one that you will answer do not answer the whole module just answer what are written in the learning task that's the use of the whlp or the weekly home learning plan so first 7 30 to 8 you are going to read and understand the lesson how to use the microscope under what is it so meaning 7 30 a.m to 8 o'clock a.m you are just going to read and understand the what is it part where is the what is it part so let's just skip what's in what's new and let's proceed to what is it it says here microscopes are instruments that can magnify or enlarge the image of objects that are otherwise too small to be seen by the unaided eyes for effective use and proper care of the compound microscope, you were familiarized with its parts in the previous lesson. So, in the last lesson, you know already the different parts of the compound microscope because it was already discussed to you and I gave you a video about the parts of the microscope which was discussed by Mom Faye Bringas. So, for you to view a specimen clearly, you must first learn how to operate a microscope properly. Getting the best focus on your microscope requires setting it up properly. Focusing on your sample and magnifying the sample so that you can yes, you so that you can see it. So, first is that setting the microscope set the lpo in line with the eyepiece or ocular you will know that an objective is in position when it clicks so you must have a compound microscope in order for you to perform this one from step one until step four wherein you are going to look through the eyepiece and move it until you see a bright circle of light so you cannot perform this one because you don't have a compound microscope so just proceed reading and understanding the discussions in your modules and then let her be preparing a wet mount so you cannot do it again because you don't have a compound microscope but you can have your own specimen what is a specimen a specimen is a part or sample of any material like plant animal paper or mineral for study or examination under the microscope the specimen should be small and thin for light to pass through them so Identify the specimen that you will be using. The teacher may ask you to use letter E. 
from a magazine or an onion skin. But in some cases, the teacher may provide prepared specimens, so with this needs a hands-on, but you cannot perform it again. So you will just read and understand it. Do not perform. Next is letter C, focusing the microscope. So there are instructions here on how to focus the microscope. Just read and understand them. The main point here is, what is parfocal microscope? A parfocal microscope as is as its lens adjusted such that an image in clear focus under the power objective remains focused even after shifting to high power objective or the HPO. So there are things here to be remembered. So after using the microscope, leave the stage clips so you know what is the stage clip because it was already discussed to you last meeting to remove the slide or the glass wash and dry the slide and cover slip then keep this in their proper place dispose thrash properly and prepare the microscope for proper storage so sometimes this step this specimens they are using can be blood because they look into the different or pl the plasma in the blood and the white blood cells which cannot be seen by our naked eye so another part of the discussion is the appearance and movement of specimen as seen under the microscope for example, we have to view a specimen, a specimen which is a printed letter E, which is a cut out, or you can also make your own letter E using a ball pen and a bond paper. So let's see, or after viewing in the image in the microscope with the different lenses like the LPO, the HPO, you can see how it is positioned. If it is positioned vertically, horizontally, or backward, or upright, so you can see in the microscope. So it says here direct direction of stage movement. It can be upward, downward, to the side, to the left side, or to the right. So you can see it under a microscope. Next, letter C. Determining the magnifying power of the microscope. So how can you determine the magnifying power of it? How it is enlarged? How many is the magnification total? So, in equations, so you are going to solve for this. Magnification of the eyepiece, so you know already what is the eyepiece. It is located in the upper part of the compound microscope, wherein you can see through in the specimen. So, magnification of the eyepiece multiplied to the magnification of the objective of the microscope. So, you already know what, what part of the microscope is the objective. You can also change the objectives by 10 times, 4 times, or even... 40 times or a larger objective so you can also change the eyepiece it is it is stated heard here that they use four times eyepiece and then a 10 times objective then a four times and 10 times objective they multiplied it 
4x multiplied by 10 times. 4 times the IPs multiplied by the 10 times objective. Therefore, they get a 40 times magnification of total. Understand? So, meaning the, the total magnification is of the microscope is 40 times. This means that the specimen is magnified by 40 times. So, just multiply both the magnification of the eyepiece and the magnification of the objective. So, that's it. We already read and understand or understood what is it. So, next is 8 o'clock to 9.30. So, you are going to watch this video lessons using this link. So, just stop the link and then you will go to YouTube directly and watch this one how to use the compound Best microscope I got on the so let's just skip we used to take hotel slippers for our guests to wear skip and then watch this video tutorial going to learn From the process of getting TV. the magnification of the specimen are you ready to learn let's go a microscope is so a powerful tool in the field of biology this it allows TV us to lesson. observe and study objects or organisms to the another video lesson let's you will just click on the other link And then, why? To direct you to YouTube. Ah, uh, yeah. So, let's just cut to this link. I highlight. Highlight the link. If ayaw niya matap, just highlight. And then, cut. Let's copy this to YouTube. Let's try it. Paste. So, ayaw nya. Let's just go to Google. Paste as plain text. Yun. Grade 7 science, how to use a microscope? This is the other you, video. You read it. From the, the learning so that it is over the So, I just opened it. I already opened it. So, nasa na na We are going to learn how to use the microscope. By the way, if you still so haven't watched the previous lesson, you can pause this video and watch that one first oh. to better understand so the lesson. So, after today. watching this video, just go back again. A microscope is a portable and very powerful tool in the field of biology. It allows us to capture images of... Oh, the learning piece. The second video is from learning bees. Next, 9.30 to 5.30 is you are going to have your health break or merienda. Next, 9.50 to 10.50, you are going to answer assessment 1 by writing the number in order to know the steps in preparing a wet mount and focusing a specimen using the compound microscope. So, let's, let's see the module. And proceed to assessment 1. So, let's skip what's more and proceed to assessment 1. Assessment 1 
says here below is a list of the steps in preparing a wet mount and focusing a specimen under a compound microscope so read the statements carefully and figure out the correct order of the steps write the number as to the order in a separate sheet of paper so in the first part preparing the specimen so you are just going to write numbers so for example letter a add a drop of water over the specimen is it the first step so if if it is the first step just write number one in letter a and then if you think letter e is the second step position the cover slip at 45 degrees with one side touching one edge of the water on the slide then you will put number two in letter e so in order for you to answer assessment one just back read on the discussion on what is it and the steps so you can answer assessment one next part is focusing the specimen specimen under the microscope so it is also discussed in what is it so just block it and see the different steps so if you think so you are just going to arrange this a to f and write numbers in the blanks so if you think letter b move the slide to the center of the microscope's field of view is the first step then write number one so do not copy assessment one just write the correct answer but you are going to write the title assessment one and then preparing the specimen specimen and then write letters a to e and then the number or the sequence of your answers write only numbers next activity two does it says you are going to answer activity 2 so do not answer activity 2 just proceed to do what I have learned by completing the paragraph so let's proceed to what I have learned so skip activity 2 do not answer this one skip also assessment 2 do not answer and let's proceed to what I have learned so it says here choose the words from the box below that will complete the thought of the paragraph so the different choices are bubbles course adjustments and lpo mirror and so on so a microscope is an instrument that helps you see very small objects and living things it makes them look blank so it makes them look blank number one what is the answer so if you think the answer for number one is bigger then write number one bigger so next this ability of the microscope is called blank so what's the answer for number two if you think the answer is magnification then write magnification in number two in what i have learned do not copy the paragraph or the choices just write the numbers and the word that best suits in the blanks so just write the words or the group of words do not copy the whole paragraph and next what's the last part after lunch break you are going to challenge your understanding by answering assessment 15 items so the last part of the module is the assessment 
wherein you are going to choose the correct answer. So, this is letters only 1 to 15. So, write 1 to 15 in your paper and then write letters only. So, number 1, a, magnif a microscope is set to 10 times eyepiece and 45 times objective. What is the total magnification of the microscope? So, you already know that in getting the total magnification of the microscope, you will just going to multiply how the magnification of the eyepiece and the magnification of the objective. So, 10, 10 times multiplied by 45 times, that is the total magnification. So, you are going to use your calculator. Or you can also solve manually. So, what is the answer? If you think the answer is 450 times, then it is letter C. So, number one, write letter C. If you think letter C is the correct answer. Next, number two. If a specimen is viewed under the microscope in item number one, how many times will the image be magnified? So, your answer in number one is connected to your answer to number two. So, how many times does it magnify? So, is it 140 times, 415 times, 450 times, or 55 times? So, if your answer is letter C again, then write letter C to number two. Next, number three. Which of the following steps should you do when viewing under the microscope? So, what are the things you should do? So, is it letter A, is it letter B, C, or letter D? Number four, if you look through the microscope and slowly move the stage to the right, in which direction does the image seem to move? So, it is in your, what is it? You can see through the table the answer. Next, number five. Which of the following part of the microscope is used to focus the microscope with low power objective? So, you can also see what part of the microscope is this. Wherein, you can focus the microscope with low power objective or LPO. Is it? body tube, course adjustment knob, fine adjustment knob, or stage knob. Next, number six, what does it mean when the objectives of a microscope are par focal? So, I already, I already discussed this in the what is it, or I read it, what is par focal? So, is it letter A, B, C, or D? Next, number seven, which part of the microscope will you use to increase the magnification from 100 times to 400 times? So, what will you use? What part of the microscope will you use if you are going to magnify a bigger one? So, if you want a bigger look of the specimen, what will you use? What part of the microscope will you use? Is it letter A, field of view? Is there a field of view in the microscope? Letter B, is there a diaphragm? Letter C, are you going to use the revolving nose piece? Or letter D, are you going to adjust the knob? Next, number 8. Which of the following statements best explains why you should use the fine adjustment knob with the high power objective or the HPO so you can also see this in what is it is it letter A B C or D let's proceed to number nine what do you call the bright circle of light that you see if you view a specimen under a microscope so you know this it is also written in what you see. Is it letter A, stage of field, B, field of view, C, point of view, or letter D, reflected light? Number 10. An 
onion skin an onion so you know what is an onion viewed under a microscope with a five times eyepiece and 43 times objective how many times will the image be magnified so you are just going to multiply 43 times and five times to get the total magnification on or how many times it is being magnified so if you multiply 43 and 5 what will you get is it letter a 48 times letter b 43 times letter c 215 times or letter d 200 times so just multiply it you can use calculator or the calculator in your cell phone scientific calculator any calculator and number 11 why should specimens to be viewed under the microscope need to be thin so why does it need to be thin the specimens thin not thick why uh, I think I read this in what is it so why what's the reason behind using a thin specimen is it letter a the image will be very clear letter b the LPO can be used to focus letter c light can pass through the specimen Let, or letter d the image will be magnified next number 12 why is it necessary to add a drop of water on the specimen when preparing a wet amount? Why? Is it letter A to wet the specimen? Letter B, the water will enlarge the image. Letter C, the water makes the image clear. Or letter D, the water will reinvert the image of the specimen. So, next, number 13. In viewing a specimen, a specimen under the microscope, which objective lens should you start with? Is it letter A, LPO lens, letter B, HPO, C, medium, le medium lens, or letter D, oil immersion lens? So what will you use? Next, number 14. Looking through the eyepiece, you have noticed that the specimen is moving to the right. What is the actual movement of the specimen? A. The specimen if, is moving upwards. Is it moving upward? Or letter B. Is it moving in the same direction? Or meaning it does not change in direction. Next, letter C, the specimen is moving to the left. Is it moving to the left? Or letter D, the specimen is moving downward. Does it move downward? And last number, number 15. Which of the following steps does not involve focusing a specimen under the microscope? So, what? does not involve involve so in the steps given which is not a step in focusing a specimen under a microscope is it letter a use the fine adjustment knob to obtain a clear image letter b adjust the stage of the specimen if the specimen is not centered under the objective, letter C, lower the body tube to set the LPO, or letter D, determine the magnification of the microscope. So, I hope you are now done answering your Science 7 module, quarter 2, week. So it says here in the mode of delivery in your WHLP that the learners will accomplish the different tasks with the guidance and supervision of parents or guardians. So if you don't know how to download 
or you don't understand what are written in the modules, you can ask the assistance of your parents or guardians or tutors so that they can help you in answering your modules and downloading them. Next, number two, you may watch also videos of DevEd TV that are being uploaded in Lebron Abreño TV. So, if you are not yet a member of the Lebron Abreño TV, just send me a message so that I can send you to the link. I can send you a link or I can invite you to the page for another or different educational videos uploaded there and it can help you in answering your modules and modules and answering the different questions in your modules gives you explanations on how to answer them. Next number three learners will use the self-learning modules so your modules or slms will be the one that you will use in answering your modules or you can also use your books which will serve as your reference if you have any books there in science next for inquiries and questions the learners parents or guardians may call text or request a phone call to the subject teacher or you can also call us in the different social media accounts we have like the messenger and group chat for example mom agnes paper and gas you can contact her in that number mom michelle flores also a science teacher you can also contact her in her gmail account or in her mobile number or fb account and i your science teacher you can contact me in this number and via my messenger and in our group chat you can and you can also email me in my personal debit account next number six the parents will hand in the outputs to the teacher in school so the advisor will get your answer sheets your papers your outputs on november 29 2021 or through messenger or email address so you can so reminder take a picture of your output or paper and send it in my messenger account before passing it to your advisors or to me on november 29 so that if ever your paper is missing we can just pocket it and print your answer sheet to avoid answering again your module so that's it and i hope that you will finish your quarter two week two in science seven and be able to pass it on the scheduled day of passing which is every monday and it is on november 29 2021 on monday and i hope so so keep learning everyone and good luck